Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I went ahead and got started on episode, what is this, three? Of Starfield. Um, basically, between last episode and now, I cleared out our inventory and actually figured while I was waiting for the uh, last episode to produce it's in production right now <laughs> uh I, I i was gonna you know take care of a few things so yeah i um clear out the inventory for, me, for the most part it's actually not if you still hold have quite a few bit of uh yeah, yeah quite a few things on us there we go now i can speak um <laughs> but i do want to show you guys a few things like boy we got some nice toys um check this out so we're gonna be using um, this semi-automatic with a short scope and long barrel and increased damage so in the United States Army we don't generally use our burst or full auto because you're you have a chance of wasting ammo <clears throat> and for whatever reason, I, this is something that I more or less live by. I, I really enjoy my semi-automatic. So I like having this semi-automatic. It's going to give me better control of the weapon, but I can still fire it fast as long as, as, long as I pull the trigger fast. Um, and uh, we get more power, we get a little bit of a zoom, and that long barrel is going to give us more distance and um, accuracy as well. So this is a pretty nice little toy that we got. So this is going to be kind of a, our uh, almost sniper rifle. It's going to be a um, bridge between rifle and sniper rifle, kind of. Let's call it a marksman rifle <laughs> for now. <laughs> um, so we got this. I'm actually thinking about using this. Oh yeah, and that has, if I remember right, yeah, plus 30% damage against aliens. So this will be freaking awesome against... Um, well, aliens. <laughs> but we also got this. Look at that bad boy. Oof. That mag is freaking sick. So, anti-personnel, which means it's plus 10% damage against humans. So it's still full auto, but it's got a faster fire rate, more ammunition. I could... I could sit there and shred through mofos with this with this bad boy. So we might keep this on us too. Haven't completely defied it yet. Of course, we're still rocking the uh, Equinox, and I have six mil. I have six of these on me. I didn't realize that. Okay. Anyways, um, our melee is the axe, and we're still rocking this, the suppressed eel. Um, so yeah, that's our loadout, but, uh, and this is a pretty freaking sweet little gun too, but yeah, I figured I definitely wanted to show you guys this, this is, well, I shelved this and this one up here, freaking nuts, man, oh my god, I haven't used this yet, I, I, I did, uh, kill a little, uh, I don't know, some alien creature with this once, uh, luckily his brother didn't want to attack, so, <laughs> I didn't have to waste ammo on him, but... Yeah, so I wanted to go over to, uh, there. I'm really curious what the heck... Hello. That right there is one of what I killed with this gun. <laughs> right, but of course, not that exactly. He's alive. Anyways, I wanted. I was curious what this was. And uh, I started heading over to it. The, the ship's just right up that way. But um, I figured, what the hell, you know, why waste... Uh, possible footage and time so I brought you guys back for episode 3 <laughs> so we're going to do episode 3 here and possibly uh, between here and um... here's somebody hello hello
just want to scan you. Don't worry. Don't worry. There we go. Let's scan your buddy. Oh my god, there's tons of them. Just scanning you. Just scanning you. That's it. Come on. Don't worry. Ah! Don't you attack. Don't you attack. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> That's gonna leave him alone! Ah! <laughs> see Vasco, see what you did? You got yourself. <laughs> In combat, there it often yells. Pew pew pew! <laughs> Damaged. Vasca, you idiot. Shouldn't have started a fight. Whew. Um, can I get him up? Nope. Let's go. Wake up. Shit. Okay, fine. You guys went. We want to die. Fine. Oh, crit, baby. Sit your ass down. Come here. Oh, thought you were gonna sneak up on me, huh? Punk. Attacked. I was trying to, um, Pack a big punch though. I mean, enough to be. have to you know, be careful, but. <laughs> okay. Are they done? So, yeah, so. I wanted to go and, um. Check this out. Yeah, so I brought you guys back to uh, start this episode. Um. And it, yeah, it's so far, it's, uh, we're already having some more fun. <laughs> more combat than we've had. I guess up to the last episode we had quite a bit of combat, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just kill him. Let's get it over with. Come here. Shut up. Now let's go see what the heck this place is up here. Wait a minute, there's one that I didn't scan. Where is it? Probably the one I just killed over there. Ah, screw it. We've got ourselves a boost pack now, um, as well, if you haven't noticed. I went ahead and put on the, um, this Veterans Navigator Pack that we picked up. It's, you know, I mean, half and half stats are better, you know, or worse than our stock one. 
But we have the boost pack now, which is pretty freaking cool. This is silver. It is silver. Switch it automatically, yep. Here's something I, I noticed. I don't know if you guys um, who play this game know this already or not. If you... I, I'm, I have my... What is it called? Maelstrom out right now, right? I do have my uh, cutter over here on this... Uh, what number? What does it say? Number four, is it? Uh, whatever the, the save is on the left. Um, but without getting that out, if I just keep it on the Maelstrom... Um, when you open your scanning thing, it automatically gets your uh, cutter out. So you just hit the fire button and you get your cutter out. Just like that. Look at that. When you put that away, it automatically transitions back to your other weapon. It's a pretty uh, cool thing, you know, not having to manually transition back and forth every single time, you know. So if you didn't know about that, now you do. Little, I don't know if I'd call it a shortcut, but... Um, you know, little life hack, if you will. It's open. Open sesame. No. Open sesame. Huh. Don't tell me I came here for no reason. Is there really nothing here? It's probably gonna end up being a uh, like a mission thing or something. You get come over, you get sent over here to do something. I, I think, I assume. I mean, there's nothing here, so that's weird. Huh. Well, that's a shame. I came over here because I wanted toys. I could go see what that is, I guess. Hmm. Well. Huh. <laughs> I guess that's what we're gonna do. Why not? Let's see what it is. We're over here. that some other time. Okay, so we got a lot of wind generation over here. Is there a reason for that? So this is all generating power in this place over here. I think there's really going to be a lot here, just this stuff outside here in a small little building there, so, hell, let's check it out. Ooh. Doesn't look good. And my dumbass is going right for it. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I, I, no! Scan him! Scan him! I can't scan him! Ah! 
hurting me somehow? If he is hurting me with that, it's not doing enough to really make me worry. Okay, he's hurting me a little bit. Just die. Just die. No. Holy Jesus. God. Man. Can I skin him now? Apparently these aren't worth skating for some reason? <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Whew. Man. So that's a Terramorph, eh? Wow. Whew. I really hope he's the only one here. So who did he kill? Hello? Who are you? Ecliptic. Modified Grendel. Kind of cool looking suit. I'm not gonna f take everything. <laughs> I know if you watched that, uh, the previous episode, I'm sure some of you are gonna be like, "Oh, you're not gonna take everything." <laughs> How old is it? Uh, girl is here. What the heck is that? Death Star over there? <laughs> Come on, you stand up there. Get, get, dang it. Whoa. What is that? Wow, whatever. What the frick am I hearing? something here. Hello? Hmm. 
No idea. Weirding me out though. Okay, look down that stuff, right? Um, nothing hiding here. There's really gonna be much for me to, to get from this this place. Which is fine, I guess. There's a terror morph that we killed. And he's an albino terror morph too. Like I think it's knowing Bethesda, they may tend to make their um, more difficult creatures albinos. Like in uh, F uh, Fallout, they had the uh, al albino. They had pretty much everything out. It had some albino version. They had albino uh, red scorpions, albino. Uh, Death claws and whatnot, and those tend to be harder versions of those creatures. So uh, I think that was actually a harder terror morph, <laughs> morph than what the originals you know, or normal ones will be. I don't know. That's the first one I've come across. So guess we'll find out sometime, huh? Let's get some feathers little building over here. to go in mission board control console huh interesting yeah there's not gonna be anything on here I don't think because I haven't gotten to uh, I don't know wherever the heck it is we're supposed to be going so I think it's, yeah, it's still going to be closed up until we get a little bit farther into the story. Which is fine. I don't care. Just looking around. Enjoying the uh, scenery. Enjoying the... Bye-bye, Vasco. Killing. Stealing. What the hell? Um, missing something? <laughs> Why? Why are there no doors? Well, I can't play with the TP on. Plus ten percent persuasion chance. Sure. A circuit board. Meh. That's a nice little plan. But I didn't get the plan. <laughs> what the heck did I pick up? <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was picking up the plan. Ham and cheese. Oh yeah. I was just saying during the last episode I wanted some of that. And now we got some. Cooking station. Not gonna worry about cooking. Connect ham boys. I do not Shabui. understand your attachment to all these objects. Shut up. <laughs> That's gonna be talking a smack, man. Dang. Nice little setup these these people have here. What the heck is this? Pill bottle? Okay. Sell it. I don't care. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You see Navy armored fatigues? What? What? What the heck did we just... Green on Neo City form, uh, Formware? I don't know what that 
Dude. Poutine. Ha! Ah, no way. No, I, all I know is poutine is some, like, Canadian thing. <laughs> Food. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, but I think it's funny to have it in here. That's cool. So if I've got any Canadian viewers, you know, there you go. There's something to represent your culture. Dude, there's tons of freaking clothing and whatnot in here. Don't be too weird. What the f- Dude. This is sick. More. Hazmat suit. Which I already have. In fact, I'm already wearing. Dude, this is- Wow, man. Is this supposed to be showers? I mean, they have no privacy here. I mean, apparently this is some kind of barracks, I guess. And I'm sure, it's all dudes, so I guess I don't really need privacy. But I mean, I've you know, been there, done that. I, I never cared for it. I, even if you get kind of used to it, it still fucking sucks. <laughs> Mannequin. Let's see what this stuff looks like. Oh, never mind. I guess I could put something on it. But... Dude, I want to see what some of the stuff looks like that we picked up. This is freaking cool, man. Um, so we got nothing here. So everything we we got a helmet, didn't we? No, we didn't. So everything we got was un... is under here. We got um. Okay, I hope I can wear that with something else. I can wear that and uh, that? Nope. <laughs> okay. I think this is that suit that one guy was wearing out there, th those two guys outside were wearing. It's a nice looking suit right here, I like it. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know that. Space. Oh, we already have that. What? Dude. That's a little thick. Bro. Holy wow. Either that or hazmat suit. It's crazy, man. So hazmat suit has basically almost all better stats, less physical um, damage uh, mitigation. You know, if like bullets will do more damage. This is that's twenty five. That's crazy, man. Twenty five and twenty. This is fifteen. So this is ten less energy. <clears throat> um. An EM, I don't know, I guess electromagnetic, but I haven't seen anything about that. And but this has a better better uh, protection against all the, the I don't know what you would call it, the thermal air you know, corrosive and all that stuff, so but I guess for just normal combat this is probably better. You know what that airborne tell me in the comments if you know this game you know what what this stuff is what is that airborne attribute there what does that mean what is that for I'm curious all right we got some pretty cool stuff now man um actually I wanted to see one more thing before we go uh we got, let's put Grendel in our hands. We got a modified Grendel. Okay, so it's not much different. It's got a long barrel and a reflex sight. So a little bit, I mean, better, and I guess technically it is better. Everything is better except for mass, but of course you put stuff on it, it's gonna be heavier. <laughs> Makes sense. 
So better range and better accuracy. Actually, accuracy is a pretty decent amount better. Okay, so we'll get rid of all the Grendels. Maybe we'll keep this modified Grendel just, you know, to have one. We'll see. Um, cool. Well, this is a nice little, uh, place to go to. I enjoyed this. Sure, we got everything we could we could possibly need or want from here, right? Um, I don't see anything. Any safes or anything hidden or anything? What the heck is that? Don't know. I wanna go that way. I wanna go this way. Okay. That was cool. That was interesting. Alright. Creature crawling. Some, some nasty, creepy spider or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so our ship is. I think it's here, ship right there. Back to the ship, and then we'll uh, head up to or out to <laughs> space and beyond. Yeah, I don't know, wherever it is, it is we're supposed to be going. Oh, there's Slowpoke. I guess I could give Vasco some stuff to hold so I don't have to keep stopping. Next time I stop, I'll give that full crap to hold. Let's go. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what is he doing way back there? Jeez, man. out, man. Can't breathe. Let's go. I'll be back to the ship before he gets here. Dang. Uh, uh oh. It's okay. You know what? No, I want to scan him. Come here. Come here. Scan you, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nope, nope, just scan. There we go, done. Okay, bye. Let's go, don't start a fight. Get away. Let's go. Better not be fighting. Space, space uh, roach. Ask if you're fighting, I'm leaving you. Is that another space roach? Is that the other one? The At least these don't attack you. Do look dangerous though, not gonna lie. I think we're almost to the ship. Should be just at the top here. We are gonna find time to come back here and check out, you know. 
all this other stuff like that. Whatever that cool looking thing is up there. That's, that is cool looking. I think it, I think it runs the, kind of the whole, um, right through the mountain. Look at that. There's something over there too. I think that's part of that, isn't it? You maybe get in there and go whoop all the way up. That's crazy. Hey, hey, there's our baby. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime guy. We're just gonna go. I'm not gonna even take anything out of my inventory. Just go. So, where are we going? He said. Take off. That is cool. I'm really enjoying this game, and what people are saying about the game when they uh, when they're I don't know if it's when they announced it, but um, people are saying that it's, it's going to be like uh, Fallout in space, or you know, but basically people are saying it's going to have Fallout feel to it, and I definitely agree with that statement, um, at least to some extent. I, de I definitely feel Fallout, or at least aspects, or what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, kind of a, a base of Fallout in this game. Okay, so we want to take, let's take one out of, yeah, take out of the missile, put it in grab drive. And we go to our map, right? Map. And then we go out. And I think we want to go out again. Maybe? Why is there a green arrow there? Is that me? Oh, that's me. I think it's me. Take the back out. Okay, so uh, Alpha Centauri, considering it has the green thing there. Or green? Did I just really say green? Blue. The mission thing. refuel our ship? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. And away we go! That's a pretty nice warp effect. I like that. Alpha Centauri. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and No contraband on ship wait for scan. Interesting. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Okay, I guess that's where we're going. Are we going to New Atlantis? So, open that, open that. Uh, New Atlantis would be... Hello! Civilian outpost? Interesting. What's that scan? Oh, okay, scan it, yeah, scan it. You haven't scanned it yet. Cool. Not saying. <laughs> so we're level three already. Nice. Okay. 
Well, that means we can like level up. Uh, what are they called? Stat? I don't know. Stats. I don't know what the heck they call them, but yeah, level up uh, anything. House Varun. Varun. Didn't they use Varun before in something? Varun was a a faction or something in a Fallout game, wasn't it? Who knows? Tell me in the chat if you know if a rune was used before and how and where. I'm curious. It sounds familiar for some reason. So. Okay, we are here. Let's make a knife. Alright. We'll take a look around. Hello, everybody. In pay, a bit clogged. We'll get those cleaned out. Make sure there aren't any of those weird leech things in here either. Maybe that's what she's talking about. Hello. Echo, echo. <laughs> there some time. See if there's not anything we can um, acquire. Who are you? Oh, I'm curious. So, okay, cool. So we don't have to have our uh, spacesuit on right now. That's cool. Look at me. I'm one of you. Having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Brown house? That, nice that sounds disgusting. What? What? Okay. So I have a mission now to investigate these brownouts. <laughs> Boot stains. Hello. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Bro, I'm over here. Oh. Are you talking to him? I'm the captain, jackass. Let's go, get over here. And he's our new captain. My crew yes. can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Trade Authority kiosk, okay. Uh, no. I'm just explaining it. View and modify my ships. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Okay. I would try to view for it. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Why, thank you. So view port for crew. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. Okay. I'll I'm take sure a look just for the hell of it. Like. Rambler. <clears throat> That's interesting. Very long. So eight ships, and this costs what? Uh, value, 57,600. Wow, holy Jesus! What in the hell? Holy crap, that is cool though. Hey, get on the ramp over here? Dude, this thing is sick. This thing is friggin' huge. Holy. Wow. 432,850. Mass 527. Shield 407. I mean, I did this properly. Oh. 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 Dude, that's. 
oh, you can like check out every different part of it. That's crazy. So this is what? Math of 25. Math of 25. Wait, what is that? Oh, that vampire. Okay. Uh, it's only 412. <laughs> oh my god. This is massive. Okay, that's a part. Where's the whole ship? Okay, here's ship over you. Okay. So 252. This is well over two times the size. 527. What does it say? Carry capacity? Oh, cargo capacity. 200. 200? That's all? This has more cargo. No way. No way. Oh, but this has fuel. Look at that, man. 50. 1,100. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. So this is built to jump from like one side of the gal galaxy to the next, basically. That's what this is for. Okay, so 21 light years. This jumps farther? What? What the hell is this for? This is a waste of money. That's weird, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not understanding something. Let me know if if I'm missing something. Tell me in the comments if there's something more to this that I'm not understanding. This is a, an interesting ship. Kind of like the cockpit. That's cool. Of what? 400, nope, yeah, 410 cargo capacity. Okay, that's not bad. Can have three crew, jump 15 light years, which is worse than mine, I, apparently. I mean, not bad. It's 65,300. Now that's kind of cool looking. That is actually pretty damn cool looking. What in the hell? Dude, I wouldn't mind having this. Achilles? Not too shabby, yo. I kinda like it. Gladius. About the same as this. A lot less car cargo capacity, but... Alright, so I don't really know what the benefit of this ship would be, to be honest. Econo Hall. 2,660... Jesus! Cargo capacity! Dang, it actually looks kind of cool, too. I like it. Wouldn't mind having this bad boy. Was it 94,976? Or 75? Okay. A sparrow. It's cute. Good. Eh. Decent cargo capacity. 920. Uh, 120. Dang. That's actually not bad. Oof, it's expensive. 72,450. Man. What? Shield breaker. It's gotta have some wicked. Yeah, yeah. Look at those weapons, man. Holy crap. Look how much. 279,425. Holy. Holy hell. Good jump range. Good all kinds of. Uh, and cargo capacity. 2,280. This is a friggin' beast. Oh my god. Whew. Sorry, I gotta go uh, take a cold shower there, buddy. <laughs> Alright, okay, everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Thank you. Bye bye. Where's your booth? Over here. Trade authority. So I guess this is where you can go. Bye. So from. Yeah, okay. Nice. So, sell so from ship inventory. Nice. So we can... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it.
like it. The cushion is really the same price here as elsewhere. So, let's see. What does it say how much it's worth? Oh, okay, 93. Dang. Oh well. I am capable of carrying additional supplies if you necessary. Hush. Sell all eight of these. So we don't need normal mail maelstroms, so we'll sell those. Sell all four of these since we already have one. Sell that because we have a better one. And do that. Let's see, apparel, no, let's do resources, miscellaneous. What do we have in re miscellaneous? So we want to sell. Um, is that really only 24? There's no way. A lot of this stuff was like hundreds of dollars. What? Uh, let's go. Let's go try the, the other place. I don't want to get gypped, man. So let's go down to miscellaneous. Let's look at value 195. Having, I'm pretty sure these were just to be sold, so yeah, screw it, I just saw all of them. So this right here, this is what, this was like $30, I think, in that kiosk, so, and it says $240. So that. Some of these things I wouldn't mind if you can decorate your ship. I wouldn't mind decorating our ship with them. So I'm kind of keeping some just to see. Um, you know, I want to try putting something down and making sure that it stays. So basically what I'm doing, I'm taking all this stuff into my inventory and then I'm going to go and manually try places uh, just leave that playing cards not worried about those right now plunger yeah these we want to try to sell might keep one some of this can I sell that eh keep it for now Sell both of these. That's worth some money. <laughs> Keep the TP. <laughs> okay, that's everything from there. Um, resources. Is there anything else we want to sell? I think we're good to go, right? For now. Let's just sell this stuff, see what we get. If there's more to sell later, we'll sell this stuff later. So I just want to look real quick over here one more time. Um, let's look at... No. Miscellaneous. There's like this, uh. This is $9 here. And that. Uh, what is it? Oh, right here, right here. 
Look, it's $30. It's supposed to be like 200 something, or 100 something. Now let's see, he said something about... I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll yeah. get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh! <laughs> they took a shuttle well, to heaven, brother. Of course. They're dead. That's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers. ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. Oh my, my treatment God. thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Well, stop In acting like a tool, you lady. Forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter, and you to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Did you hear that? Glad Wasn't I you? Still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Is it true that that train goes five thousand miles an hour, or that citizens get special discounts, or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June eleventh, by the way. My parents <laughs> took me to a kilo city. Kind of smell, but I don't smell anything. Um, no. Yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Now, oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't Dang. you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even help with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, <laughs> you all must be exhausted. This lady is getting cold, man. Details with security. Does that woman have any idea who I am? Does anybody care who you are? <laughs> now. Oh. What? No, just uh, go away. She <laughs> can't do this to me. She can't. Do this to me. Does that woman oh. have any idea who I am? Lady, I would slap the crap out of you if you were if I was getting in trouble. What? No, just uh, go away. <laughs> oh man. Hey there, I guess buddy. you caught some of that, huh? Yeah. The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a... A bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. You mean Fashion, like Klingon? <laughs> cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much every one of the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the so, Serpent's Crusade, huh? Pretty much with some peace, psychos. Sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Got it. Well, I'm more inclined to kill them, but hey. Really? <laughs> You must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <laughs> <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. 
They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Well, still, I hold out hope. There are more good people than bad in this galaxy. It's oh, just that a real future is like that. <laughs> oh, louder. Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates I believe are it. That's what I'm gonna be doing. In space, they're all about the hit and run. You jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. <laughs> Stumble upon them planet side, though. Their trigger fingers get much itchier. It's okay, mind of. We got to the wash. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Another okay. time, then. I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic <laughs> mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people, you know, about serpents and stuff. Yeah, it was like, snakes and serpents will eat you all, Rah, the stars will squeeze you, Rah, or something like that. I think they need psychiatric help. <laughs> when it comes to ecliptic, I know everything. It's not like it's a secret. Are those the ones that I thought for money. killed? And it's like, for enough money, they'll do anything. I've heard a couple of SSNN stories about them. My dad oh. says they're horrible. Like they can pretend they're working for someone and it's official, so they do anything they want. Well, I'll tell you what, they're not better than, stronger than a uh, albino, uh, what are they called? Morph, so whatever morph thing. <laughs> Terror morph. Is that really an appropriate thing to say to a child? Anyway, Bro, you just let your parents now. get killed. Shut up. Hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Yeah. You see that don't hold your breath. Out in front of mast, staring at trees. Sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Been up there, huh? Space. All right. So. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled systems. And they like to use old, abandoned facilities as outposts. You know, the ones left over from the colony war. Interesting. Kind of want to get in there. If I get in here, do I get in trouble? Hello? Anything uh, worth me taking? Doesn't look like it. Dang. Okay. We need to sell our stuff. Anyways, let's go. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. Fine. Thank it. So he said the. to sell your junk? The viewport. I think it's here, right? Okay. Oh, 
wife is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you any seats. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Yes. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. Hey, I just want my deals. Buy stuff Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Stop by anytime you want. Why are you staring at me, you crazy looking fool? Not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. I'll fight you. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? This is true. <laughs> I guess maybe I am. Hell, I've been everything else in life. Why not add that to the list? I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. Uh, <laughs> and you got that right. <laughs> Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Better stop here. My kind of people. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Alright, so this isn't the place oh. I wanted to go. Hey. For... Do I use this? Mission board. Sulfur snow. Okay, so it's not here. Is it inside? Barrett enjoys ah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. He frequently buys chocolate here. Though I have it's informed him repeatedly, sure it is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. Damn, Vasco, Matt. <laughs> Hi there. Vasco's brutal. Thanks for stopping in. Feel Hello. free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. We'll have to start calling this lady Chippy. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. That's great. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Oh, please, take a look. Okay, more importantly, lady, I want to sell stuff. Um, oh, okay, you can sell from your shipping inventory here, too. Oh, well. Now I know. Uh, we're looking for miscellaneous, right? Miscellaneous... Nine. Same prices, isn't it? Thirty. Okay. That's crazy, man. Okay, I guess we just can get what we can. Sell that. Sell those. Let's start from the top. Maybe we can find another one. Death cards, sellos. Desktop digi frame, sell one. Sell these. Yeah. Screw it, sell both. That. That I want to keep. That I want to keep. All of those. 
fell that. Actually, we should probably focus on uh, weapons first. Sell that. I don't need that. Screw it. Um, Grendel, sell it. Sell all these. Sell. So, so this one, and this one is basically the same thing as our exterminator one, minus one attachment. So it's actually not worth keeping. So, um, tempted to sell this, but I don't know yet. What else? Okay, so now we need to go sell from ship. Weapon? Is that all? Okay, I guess that's everything. Um, ammo, weapons, nah. What else is there to sell? We have... So we have miscellaneous. Don't need that. We'll sell that. sure about selling suits and packs and stuff yet or clothes well, you know what hold on <laughs> probably not gonna wear this uh, it does give you a decent amount of health plus five that gives you a thing okay, bye let's do we have two well, well three of these let's sell two i'm sure if you're not wearing that I don't think I'm gonna be trying to sell that. I don't know what the hell that helmet's about. <laughs> okay. Helmets. Meh, don't need this one. Or these one. I have two of this one too. Let's sell one of those. Okay. Alright. I like it. And I do believe, hold on, we have in our ship, we have some more, well, maybe not, okay, we have, I don't know, so one more, so, those. Okay. Okay. Well, Appreciate we've made some money. I didn't pay attention to how much we've made. It wasn't as much as I would have liked, considering, um... Yeah, they're giving us next to nothing for what things cost, but hey. I wanna, I'm trying to keep the episodes down in length, so we will call this one here. Um, then we will go to the, the Sea Constellation next episode. Right, Vasco? Okay. So, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe so you know when my videos come out. And I will see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.